Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a what's in my beach bag video for you guys. As you might know, if you've seen my Kmart hauls, you might have noticed this bag from there. So yeah, I put purchased this and I was like, that will be a perfect beach bag. Um, so yeah, I thought I would film a what's in my beach bag video, what I take to the beach with me. We haven't really had um, a huge chance to go to the beach because yeah, of the smoke and there's kind of like clouds everywhere, but I have been a few times. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have like my bag packed and ready for go to go to the beach because I usually just have a bag ready to go. Um, and yeah, I thought I would share it with you guys and it is this one here. As I said before, this bag is from Kmart. It was $20. I love this bag because it's a little backpack. Usually I'll have like a big sort of beach bag, you know, like the really big day bags that you take to the beach. I practically live across the road from the beach, so there's really no point in me taking a big bag over and I can just come home. I don't usually go to the beach for the whole day anyway. I'll only go for a couple of hours or an hour or so and then come back home. Um, but yeah, so I really like my beach bag to be this sort of size. It's just a lot more convenient for me. Um, but yeah, and I'm just obsessed with like the whole crochet macrame looking bag i think it is super cute and for 20 dollars i mean that is such a bargain first off i'll just start off by telling you guys a few of the other things that i keep in here or that i take with me i obviously take a towel with me i'm not going to show you guys that because i don't put it in my bag i just hold it in my hand when i go over to the beach um so yeah obviously i take like a towel like a beach towel with me i also take my cellular device with me um just because i don't go anywhere without my phone um, and then I also take over a water bottle. I don't have it with me at the moment, but it's like an insulated water bottle um, that keeps your water really cool. I find that is a must for at the beach because I love, when I'm in the heat, I want to be drinking cold water. And plastic bottles and bottles that aren't insulated are really, like the, the water just heats up so fast because it gets so hot over here. So yeah, that is a huge biggie for me. I would include it, but it's not at home at the moment. It's currently at work, so... Yeah, I haven't got it in here, but let's get into the products that I do have in here. So the first thing that I have are my sunglasses. Now, I kind of switch out my sunglasses depending on how I'm feeling. These are the ones that I've been going for the most lately, though. These are my ones from White Fox Boutique. They're the Vaux Sarah's Day um, collaboration ones, and I think these were from her first drop, but these ones here are so cool. They remind me of... Um, Ray-Bans. I've got this pink pair, pair of Ray-Bans that look exactly like this, um, but I really wanted a black pair and these are cheaper than Ray-Bans and I feel like they're very similar. So yeah, I have these ones here. I think they're super cute. They're just like the black lens with the gold trimming. I'm obsessed with them. I look like a bug right now. Oh, another thing that I take with me but I don't keep in my bag all the time um, is my little mini wallet as well. I got this from Kmart too. Um, but this I just keep my cards and some cash in. Um, but yeah, this is like my everyday wallet. I wouldn't take my big wallet with me in this bag. But yeah, I don't have this in here right now. This is something that I chuck in there like if I'm going to need it. The next thing I have are just two little hair ties. I keep these in here because whenever I take my hair down and I go to the beach, I always get so annoyed when it's windy and I just want to tie my hair back. So I always keep two little hair bands in my bag or keep a couple hair bands in there just in case I want to tie my hair up. Um, and yeah, it just gets really hot down there at the beach and my hair gets all sweaty and I go swimming in it and I just want to tie it up. So I keep those in there. The next product I have is this product here. Now this is from the Fox Tan. This is their new um, Rapid Candy Oil. You guys, this stuff just smells absolutely amazing. It reminds me of a Raspberry Zupa Dupa. I know that because I'm obsessed with Zupa Dupas at the moment. They've just been like something I'm constantly eating. I'm obsessed with them. But this is what that reminds me of. Um, and yeah, it's just their new tanning oil. I have used pretty much all of their products before and I am absolutely obsessed with them. They really, really work. I'm all about spending less time in the sun and their products are one of the only products that I have found where I can spend like an hour or a couple of hours in the sun and I get a decent tan. Like you can actually notice. Um, there's not many other products that I've used that make me tan fast. So, so yeah, I love the Fox Tan products and I am so excited to use this. I've used this a few times already. I used it once down at the beach and then I've also used it 
kind of weird but i've used it on my baby bump as well just because i really like oils on my baby bump and yeah i just love the smell of this too so i'm really excited for this to be like my tanning oil of the year so yeah, definitely try out their products if you haven't before i swear by their moisturizing spray the spray moisturizer that is amazing i love that stuff i actually need to get another bottle of that and i also swear by their rapid elixir i swear by all their products i love all their products but those are the two that i love the most so the rapid elixir which is what i usually keep in my makeup bag like all last year that is what i used when i went to the beach to get my tan um, and I think the year before that as well, I'm pretty sure I used it too. So yeah, the Rapid Elixir, the moisturizing spray, and yeah, this is what I will be using this year. So I'm excited to get some more use out of this. I'll let you guys know what it's like maybe in like a favorites video or something. But yeah, love this stuff. And how cute is their packaging? Look at it. So freaking cute. And then the next product I keep in my bag is this here, and this is the Latan um spf 50 watermelon lotion i'm all about spf i'm all about protecting my skin and the at the beach as well so yeah having an spf is very very important for me i'll put this on first and then i'll put my tanning oil over the top um yeah just to keep my skin protected from the sun so yeah this one there this one i really love this brand i've been using this brand for probably about three years now and i absolutely love it i want to try the pineapple one as well but for now I have the watermelon one. I just get this from Kmart. Again, how cute is the packaging of this? I'm a very much a packaging person. And then next we just have a lip balm because my lips get super dry when I go to the um, beach. So this is the one that I have. This is just from Sun Balm and it is a cocoa balm pina colada flavor. I like this because it's a chapstick version. A lot of my lip balms are a little bit more of like a they're not a, as much of like a stick formula. They're more like the ones in the pots and stuff. And those are really good. But when you're at the beach, your beach bag gets hot. And the last thing I want is for my chapstick to dry, uh, not dry up, to melt. So I do have this one. I just find it's a little bit thicker. And I love the scent of this as well. It smells so good. The next thing I like to take over to the beach with me is this here. And this is a word search book this one i just got from big w but it's got a ton of word searches and i either take this or my sudoku one but currently i've been using this one more um and yeah it's just got word searches i used to take a book over but honestly i find it too bright to read at the beach so i prefer to take like an activity book over and this is the one that i have taken up with me recently and then i also just obviously keep a pen in there so that i can do it in. And then the last thing I have in my beach bag is a little sarong. Now, I really like sarongs for the beach because one, you can lay them out as kind of like a blanket to sit on. Um, most of the time I will sit on my towel, obviously, but this is really nice just to wrap around my body. If I, like, for example, when I'm walking over to the beach, I don't like to walk over in my bikini, so this is nice just to kind of wrap around my body while I'm walking over, and then I can use it as like an extra blanket or a like even like a pillow or something like that just like it's handy to have in your makeup bag i mean makeup bag in your beach bag so yeah that is the last thing in my beach bag and that brings us to the end of this video let me know down below what you guys keep in your beach bag when you go to the beach i'm always interested to try out new products like what products do you think work really well in the sun or to keep in your beach bag please let me know down below um yeah I'd love to know because I like trying out new things. I like caring about what other people keep in their bags and stuff like that. I'm just nosy like that. But yeah. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, request, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.